all right welcome back to another interesting video and in this video i will show you how we can switch between light mode and dark mode so first of all let me give you the demo over here i have this icon and this is representing that we are on light mode now if i click on this this icon got changed and we are on dark mode which is great right i can switch between pages and everything's box is expected and now if i refresh the page this will still work which is great I can easily switch between light mode and then dark mode. So in this video, I will show you how we can do this step by step. So make sure to watch this video till the end. So now let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's start by adding the icon over here. So let me open up the code editor and let me go to app navbar. Actually, we have these two links. We don't need this for now. So let me comment those and let's create another link. Let me paste that over here. And here instead of this name, let's add font of some icon. So let's do i class equals f a r f a son icon. Okay. Now we see this son icon, right? Now when someone click on this icon, then we need to listen for that click event and call the function. So let's do that. Over here on this anchor tag, let's listen for the click event. And let's prevent the default behavior. And let's call the method called change theme okay and we need to create this method so let me add the script setup section over here the script setup let's create that method change theme and for now let's just do alert here now let me try this let me click on and we see this alert so first of all let's start by defining the state uh, to represent whether we are on dark mode or light mode so let's do that and to define the states let's use global store so let me go over here on stores inside of this setting store let me create another state let me give it a name called theme and by default let's make this as light and to change the theme let me create another function so let's do const change theme and this function will change this state okay so over here let's do theme dot value equals if we are on the light mode so if the theme dot value is light then let's change this to dark otherwise let's change this to light okay and now we have this function so let's make this available so that we can use in our template so here return the change theme and now inside of app number we can import this store and here let's import use setting store from stores and then setting store okay so let's define this setting store and let's call the function use setting store and now inside of our template we can simply use that action that we have defined on use setting store okay we have defined this change theme so we can directly use that in our template so for that let me remove this from here and on this setting store over here let's do setting store dot change theme okay now let me go over setting store and to show you let me do alert here on store so now let me try this and we are getting that alert message which is great let me remove this and to apply dark mode on this admin LTE theme we can simply add one class so that class is dark mode so if i go over here on our app.view file over here we have this class now if i add the class called dark mode then it will apply dark mode on our application which is really great right but there is one issue over here on our navigation bar we still see this light theme so we need to fix that and we need to make this toggle level right so currently we are manually adding dark mode over here so now if i remove this then dark mode is gone so to apply the class dynamically we can do class equals and here on the top we need to import setting store so that we can use that let's import that use setting store from setting store and let's define that setting store equals use setting store 
and over here we can do setting store dot theme is dark then let's apply the class called dark mode otherwise do nothing okay now let me try this let me click over here and we are getting the issue because we misspelled this so let's fix this use setting store and now this is fine and here we are still getting the issue because we forgot to add this theme inside of this return object so let's make theme available so that we can use this on our template now let me try this if i click on this dark theme is applied again if i click on this then light theme is applied but now if i click on this again we are on dark theme but if i refresh the page then that is gone right so we need to fix this and the another thing is let's add this icon dynamically as well currently it is just showing the sun icon so when on dark mode let's use moon icon so let's do that let me go over app number and let's add this class conditionally so over here let's define the class and inside this we can add the condition if the setting store theme is dark then add the class called fa moon otherwise add the class called fa sun okay now let me try this we are on dark mode we are seeing this moon we are on light mode and we see the sun which is great and here on this navigation bar we are still seeing this light theme let's fix this as well so here we have this class called navbar light and navbar white so let's make this dynamic as well so let me remove this and let's add the class and we can say if our setting store dot theme is dark then apply the class called navbar dark otherwise navbar light okay now let me go to the browser and we see this dark mode applied on our navigation bar as well which is great let me switch to light mode light theme dark mode dark theme but now if i refresh the page then our dark theme is gone right so let's fix this so currently we are just storing that value on our store and it will get removed if we refresh the page right and in such cases we can use local storage and in this video i will show you how we can use view use library and this library consists of lots of cool composables and those are reusable so in this video we'll be using use storage so let me click on get started and let's install this library first npm install view use core and let me search for local storage and here we have it use local storage and for the uses we can prefer to use storage so to use this we can simply import use storage from view score so let me go over here and inside of this global store we can simply use composables so we can simply import that use store composable from view score over here let's use that use storage and for the key let's give it this name called setting store colon and this state name so that it will be easy to identify theme and as the second argument we can pass ref and by default is light and here we are storing this value inside of our local storage with a key name called setting store colon theme so now let me refresh the page over here and if i open up the console let me go to application tab and here inside of local storage let me click on this and here we have this key called setting store colon theme and currently we are on light mode and now if i change this to dark mode we are in dark mode right and this value also got changed and after doing this now if i refresh the page then we are on dark mode as well because we are getting that value from our local storage right which is really great let me close this let me click on logout and here we don't see that dark mode so let's fix this as well let me go to app.view and over here let's apply the same class our login page as well so let's add that class now we see this dark theme and we can also extract this code into a computed method so let's do that let's create the another method let's say current uh, theme mode let's use computed function and inside this we can return setting store the theme is dark then return dark mode otherwise do nothing and we can simply use this instead of this 
code you can remove this and use current theme mode you can do the same over here as well and this is great you can click on sign in and we are on dashboard page all right this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you make sure to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one